In the late 1800s, a species of snail was introduced from Asia to the Western United States. It was later accidentally moved uh, to Boston as goldfish were brought to attempt to control mosquito populations, and it has since uh, spread throughout the United States. It is known as the Chinese mystery snail, sometimes referred to as the Japanese mystery snail. The mystery refers to, like many uh, of the snails in the Cenogastropoda group, um, the eggs which are produced then mature in the mantle of uh, the female and thus leave the female as living juveniles. And so it was thought that uh, these juveniles would kind of appear suddenly as a mystery. That is the origin of the name. Um, these uh, snails, like many in uh, the Cenogastropoda uh, group, uh, possess an operculum. This is a hard structure which can be uh, pulled kind of like a trap door over the opening of the shell. They are large snails uh, whose uh, shells can measure a couple inches in length and typically have an olive brown color. This is an invasive species, and their spread has come at the expense of native snail species uh, whose habitat and food sources uh, this uh, snail can then take. Um, they can um, cause an economic impact to humans in that these large uh, shells uh, can clog drains and they can even spread diseases to fish, and there is even an intestinal fluke which can be passed on to humans. And so, one should never uh, try to move living organisms from pond uh, to pond, or empty aquarium organisms into the wild, and one should try to wash watercraft and uh, materials which contact uh, you know, fresh water in one uh, body of water before uh, transporting a boat or other materials to another body of water. Uh, um, these precautions will help limit the spread of invasive species.